Willkommen zu einer kleinen Preview zu Titanfall. Ich wurde von EA nach München eingeladen zum presse beta event von Titanfall, konnte da einen Tag lang Titanfall spielen, meine ersten Eindrücke gewinnen und genau die möchte ich jetzt hier ein bisschen mit euch teilen. Und zwar hatten wir zur Auswahl einmal die Xbox One und die PC-Version. Mein Gameplay wurde nur an der PC-Version aufgenommen, aber keine Sorge, die Xbox One-Version habe ich auch angespielt. Ich kann sagen, die Grafik ist wirklich überragend gut, also wirklich eine wahnsinnig gute Grafik für eine Konsolenversion. Die Steuerung geht super flott von der Hand, also die Pilots und die Titans lassen sich wirklich sehr gut mit dem Controller spielen. Ich denke mal, jeder, der mit der Konsole regelmäßig COD oder Battlefield spielt, wird keine Probleme haben mit Titanfall, denn die Steuerung ist ziemlich ähnlich. Das Ganze erinnert sehr stark, wenn man den Pilot spielt, an Brink, denn man ist ja sehr agil unterwegs. Man kann an der Seite entlang laufen, man kann über weite Schluchten springen, man kann sehr schnell seine Waffe wechseln, Nahkampfangriffe machen, also der Pilot ist sehr, sehr agil und rast regelrecht durch die Karte. Wenn man dann im Titan drin ist, dann ist natürlich alles ein bisschen träger, denn man ist immerhin in so einer schweren Maschine drin. Aber dennoch, auch diese schwere Maschine lässt sich relativ schnell lenken, ist besonders wendig. Und wenn wir jetzt gleich das Gameplay sehen, wird das Ganze unkommentiert von mir sein. Das liegt daran, wir schauen uns jetzt erstmal das Training an, das Tutorial von Titanfall. Da werden alle Fähigkeiten vorgestellt. Man sieht so ein bisschen die Waffen, wie das Ganze funktioniert. Und man wird natürlich auch eingewiesen, wie es dann funktioniert, wenn man später den Titan ruft und dann mit dem Titan rumrennt. Das Training ist eigentlich ganz gut, um mal so einen ersten Einblick in die ganze Steuerung und in das Gameplay von Titanfall zu gewinnen. Keine Sorge, ich kommentiere das Ganze deswegen nicht, weil eben eine andere Stimme die ganze Zeit spricht. Da wird wirklich alles erklärt, wie man sich zu bewegen hat, was man drücken muss, wie das Ganze funktioniert. Dann später im nächsten Video werde ich da natürlich selber reden, selber meine Sachen erklären, selber sagen, wie ich das Spiel gefunden habe, wie ich das Event gefunden habe, was man sich von Titanfall erhoffen kann. Deswegen erstmal hier das Training und im nächsten Video kommt dann Gameplay. Und wenn das Ganze noch reicht, mache ich vielleicht sogar noch ein drittes und ein viertes Video, je nachdem, also ich habe ordentlich Gameplay aufgenommen, ich muss das Ganze jetzt erstmal mir so ein bisschen reinziehen, denn auch wenn ich eigentlich gar nicht so schlecht in Titanfall war, die Steuerung und alles, da muss man sich auch so ein bisschen reinfuchsen und ich werde schauen, was ich von dem ganzen Gameplay letzten Endes verwenden kann. Dennoch wünsche ich euch jetzt allen viel Spaß mit dem Training von Titanfall und wir sehen uns dann schon wieder in der nächsten Folge mit einem richtig schönen Match, wo ich so ein bisschen erzählen werde dann, wie ich Titanfall gefunden habe. Habe. Also, viel Spaß! This unit is authorized for military use only. Possession by an individual is a class one felony. Welcome to the Hammond Pilot Certification Simulator. Warning. Unregistered user detected. Key accepted. Training pod is authorized. Welcome, Pilot. To calibrate the AR display, Please look at each of the red lights. Would you like to reverse the vertical look input? Visual calibration complete. Simulator initializing. You are free to move around the simulation. Please walk through the tunnel in front of you. Sprint through the tunnel. Jump over the obstacle. For greater distance, jump while sprinting. Jump toward the edge of a surface to pull yourself up. As a pilot, your most important piece of gear is your jump kit, which allows you to run on walls. Wall run across the gap to proceed. Wall runs can be chained together to travel farther. Try jumping from one wall run directly into another. Well done.
completion requirements met. Jump kits extend your natural jumping ability. You can jump once more after leaving the ground. To cover even more distance, wait longer before starting the second jump. Double jump and mantle into the hole above to proceed. Use wall running and double jumping to make your way to the exit. Excellent navigational skills, pilot. Cloaking, making yourself nearly invisible, is essential to pilot survival. To get past the sentries, cloak first, then move through the area quickly. Well done. Cloaking does not last forever. Look at your cloak meter on the bottom left of your screen to monitor your remaining cloak time. In closed quarters situations, you can kill silently with a melee attack. Get close to the target to melee. If you melee an opponent from behind, you will perform an execution. Meleeing an enemy from the front can be faster, but carries more risk of death. To continue, please pull your weapon. The weapon is empty. Load a fresh magazine. This is the smart pistol, an auto-targeting weapon. Get close enough to a valid target and the smart pistol will start locking on. Wait for a full lock before pulling the trigger. Use your smart pistol to neutralize the target. Target eliminated. The smart pistol can lock on to more than one target. Eliminate all of the targets with your smart pistol. Targets neutralized. Some enemies, especially pilots, require multiple locks to kill with one trigger pull. Kill the pilot with your smart pistol. Target down. Switch to your rifle. To take a more calculated shot, you can aim down the sights of your weapon. Destroy all of the targets in the shooting range. All targets eliminated without a magazine swap. Your ammunition conservation has been noted. Throw a grenade into each of the windows. Four out of four. Nicely done. Combat scenario initialized. Destroy all opposition in the area. Your minimap is located in the upper left corner of your AR display. Look for the small dots on your minimap to find all the enemy troops. Minimal damage sustained during live fire exercise. Well done. Combat scenario initialized. Hostile Titanfall imminent. Titans will not take substantial damage from small arms fire. Switch to your anti-Titan weapon. Destroy the Titan with your anti-Titan weapon. 
For this certification, death simulation has been disabled. As a pilot, when your view screen tints red, you are close to death. Avoid taking damage for a short time, and your health will restabilize. Once the red tint on your screen fades away, you have fully recovered. Good job. Taking on a Titan is very dangerous, even with the right weaponry. Pilots earn credit towards their next Titan drop by engaging in combat. Once your Titan is built, you can drop your Titan onto the battlefield. To continue, please initiate Titanfall. Look to the sky to watch your Titan fall into battle. Get close to your Titan to mount up. Titans are designed to be a natural extension of the pilot. Firing your Titan's primary weapon is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles arriving in drop pods. Excellent. Combat scenario complete. Titans can dash laterally to perform fast directional changes. To proceed, please dash in any direction you like. Please dash to the left. The dash meter is located beneath the crosshair on the Titan cockpit display. Each blue box represents one dash. Dash backwards. Dash forward. Good job. Please proceed to the exit. Titans frequently dash to avoid threats in combat. Move down the hallway while avoiding the rockets. To defend against ranged threats, Titans can be equipped with the Vortex Shield. This weapon absorbs incoming ballistics for a limited time, then refires them. Well played. Skilled pilots often disembark from their Titans on the battlefield. To continue, disembark from your Titan. Head into the control room to open the gate for your Titan. Pilots can control their Titan's AI when they are on foot. The AI can be toggled to follow you or guard its current location. The lower right corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titan's current AI mode. Put your Titan into follow mode and it will follow you through the gate. When your Titan is in follow mode, it will try to stay close to your position. Get close to your Titan and re-embark. To 
continue, pilot your Titan to the exit. Titans also carry offhand weapons into combat. These weapons can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable, which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. Your Titan has been equipped with the Rocket Salvo. Try firing your Rocket Salvo now. Be sure to deploy offhand weapons to maximize your firepower in combat. Prepare for your final combat test. Try to use all of the skills you have learned. Enemy Titan shields temporarily disabled. Wave survived. Prepare for the next wave. Next wave incoming. Be advised, enemy titans may now appear with more advanced weapons. has a shield that deflects incoming damage. Your shield bar wraps above the health bar at the top center of your HUD. If you avoid taking damage for a short time, your shields will recharge. The best pilots will monitor their Titan's shields in combat, taking breaks to recharge as necessary. Your Titan's health bar status is located at the top center of your HUD. Notice that when your health bar goes down, it will not replenish. Once your health bar is depleted, your Titan is doomed to die shortly. Wave survived. Prepare for the next wave. Next wave incoming. Enemy Titan shields online. Use caution. Your Titan is critically damaged. Combat veterans refer to this as doomed state. Eject. Your Titan eject. will inevitably self-destruct once it is doomed. When you eject, you can use the higher vantage point to plan your next move. Excellent. Your pilot combat certification is complete. For your safety, please stay in the training pod to regain your equilibrium. All hands, listen up. We're five minutes out from Horizon Station. Violet, this is your stop. You've got ten minutes to collect your gear and get off my boat. Welcome to the Frontier. 